Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do my July 2019 reading stats. So, uh, July was pretty good for reading wise until the very end of the month. But overall, I read quite a few books and um, uh, because it was Jane Austen July and The Reading Rush, I think I did fairly well considering. Um, I actually read almost my full TBR and some of those were... Um, were like backup books. I only didn't read one book from that and that was really good for me on how many books I wanted to read for Jane Austen July and I threw a, a one or two extra. I think I threw a one in extra. So overall I think I did really well. So I'm just gonna go through my trusty little list and talk about the stats about the stuff that I read. So question number one is how many books did I finish? I finished 13 books and um, most of them were books like it wasn't there wasn't that many. I don't think there was any novellas this time around. Or if there were, it was only like one. Um, but it was really interesting. I read eight physical books and two ebooks, and then I had three audiobooks. So that was pretty good for me, the diversity of that. I am very much a physical book reader, um, but I am trying to get more audio um, more consistently. But also ebooks. I own so many and I do not read enough of them. So it was good to at least have read a couple of them from them. Um, I did not read any graphic novels or manga. I did try two or three of them actually. I did bring home from the library and I read about part of them or like not even, maybe half and I just was like nah I don't care. I just took them back. So that didn't go so well this month. And as I said I do try to at least get one or two a month in but this month it just I didn't finish any. Um, how many rereads? I had four books that were rereads. Now, no, I didn't. Yeah, well, most of them were. I mean, two of them were were Jane Austen. So, and then two of them were uh, were uh, paranormal romance that I read earlier in the month. So, um, you know, eh, <laughs> that kind of makes some sense. It was. Uh, I mean, I I did do a lot of rereading this month though, overall, and I'll show you that later. Um, how many DNFs? So I didn't actually DNF anything. I still have one book on hold that Austin Land um, by Shannon Hale. I still have not watched the movie. So I'm hoping to watch that in the next week or so. And then, um, cause it has to go back to the library. Um, and then hopefully I make a decision about the book. I just, I don't think, I, I, I think it's going to be a DNF. I just think I'm just going to let it go. But I am going to give it a, one more shot and with and when I went to the movie. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. So there could be one. And I would count the DNF on this month because that's when I stopped reading it. So that's why I put it in as a maybe just so I remembered that that could be there. Um, how many um, of the books that I read were on my TBR this month? And uh, of the nine books I had on my TBR, I read eight of them. So that is really good for me. I... I was very impressed. So, it was, I mean, it was a good size TBR because uh, Jane Austen in July, I had quite a few. Now, I didn't count what I said I would read for my Reading Rush TBR because I did not know what that would be at the very beginning of the month. And I did pull as many of the Jane Austen July books that I hadn't read onto that list. And so, again, I read what I was going to except for that, that pesky one. But it was a really big book that I didn't think I'd get to anyway. So, maybe next year. Um, how many of the books, um, let's see here. So I read, how did that work? I think I made a mistake on this. I need to rewrite this one question. I get so confused every time. Um, I know for sure, oh, of the eight physical books. Okay, this is what it's saying. It's asking how many were from my TBR, my physical TBR, and how many were from the library. So seven of the books that I read that were physical were from my my bookshelves and then one came from the library. So I need to rewrite that question so I understand it better. Um, how many are still on my currently reading or books I started but didn't finish? I had four books that crossed over from <laughs> from July into August and you know that's that's a little higher than normal. Usually I want one or two. <laughs> But I had um, a couple books that did drift over. And again, one of those is Austin Land. So, you know, again, it might not count later on, but right now, <laughs> right now it does. 
Um, so here's the bad question, the one I do just to put it out there. How many books did I buy this month? I bought 30 books in July. I still don't know how I did that except the fact that I had extra money because I did a lot of overtime and I was stressed out for many different reasons and a lot of books. Um, <laughs> I just got a lot of books. Anyway, which I need to find space for again on my shelf. Ugh. Anyway, so, and then how many did I read and how many are now on my TBR? <laughs> I've only read one of them. <laughs> and 29 went on my TBR. Yeah, that was not a very good, <laughs> that was not my best uh, <clears throat> addition to my TBR. It's, and my TBR is, it is out of control. And yet, I still like to buy books. Um, so I read uh, 3,714 pages in July, which comes out to an average of 119.8 pages a day. So that is a really good average for me. Again, as I said, I really like to be above 50 as my low point, And I always want to strive for above 100 pages a day. I don't read much more than that typically. I have high days and I have really low days. I'm very fluctuate and just depends on what I'm reading and where I'm at and what's going on. So to come out over a hundred is really good for me. So I always celebrate that when it's, I mean, I celebrate every time I'm over 50 pages a day, but I, I'd really do like seeing the over a hundred. I admit it. That's where I want to be. I would love to be some, one of those people who get like 175 to 200 pages a day all the time. But as I said, I go through, um, times where I do. And most of the time it doesn't average out that way. Uh, star ratings. I had two five star reads. Um, yeah. yeah. And then four, no, no, I take it back. I had eight four star reads and, uh, three, three star reads. Um, the genres that I covered were classics, um, like examples of Jane Austen, Francis Burney, and Victor Hugo. I had five of those. Um, I had two historical fiction retellings from Jane Austen. I had one mystery retelling, Jane Austen. <laughs> uh, nonfiction, I'd had a Jane Austen, two Jane Austen books, and sorry, uh, on on her, and then uh, one was underground um, to the Japanese. And then, um, uh, I had two paranormal romances that I talked about earlier that were rereads. So, um, overall, my favorite book for the month was without a doubt rereading Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is my second favorite of the Austen books, but it's so close to second that Pride and Prejudice are like so, so close to this one. Anyway, but it's for different reasons. And I just, this is, was, this reread was a long time in coming. I, I don't know why it's been so long since I last picked this up and I can't find a record of when it was. So it feels like it was a little too long <laughs> since the last time I read this. And I just loved reading this book and I read it pretty fast, but I read it like I, I really read it again. Like I didn't skim anything. I actually, you know, read it all the way through. I didn't go to my favorite parts and stuff. I just, I really read the whole thing and I just get so excited when I get to the good parts. So Still one of my favorites about Anne Elliot and her family must move to Bath due to uh, financial reasons. And um, she goes and stays with her uh, her younger sister who is married in, with the Musgroves. And there she um, meets again uh, Captain Wentworth who she, uh, six years earlier, was it six? Oh, my little brain just shut down. Eight years earlier, she had accepted his proposal for marriage, but then rejected him um, due to influences from the family. So it was oh, just, this is, again, my favorite second chance romance ever, 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 ever. <laughs> and uh, probably why a lot of them I don't like now, other ones, because this is just so perfect. Anyway, so yes, that was definitely my favorite book, sorry. And then I would say my, the, the, the least favorite was not like a bad least favorite. So I just wanted to bring up, this was technically of the books I read. This one, again, the retellings for me are really hard, especially for Jane Austen, because I know those books and I, I know those stories and it's, it's really hard to do it. I think this one was really well done, but 
I also didn't like it as well because there are certain things that happened that I'm like, what? No, no, I don't, I don't believe that and stuff. So this was, there's a lot more dis, <laughs> not my suspension of disbelief was harder on this one. I do love the details though. This is really funny is that I read, I just read a book, um, this month, this in August that was about, uh, wrote a, someone wrote a note in there about paleontology and how some, how a woman named Mary Awning was one of the first to really, um, or she was in the early 1800s was um, finding stone, had finding fossils in uh, Lyme Regis. And it actually, a character in here is named that and it's actually her and I did not know that from the very beginning. It's like in the first two or three pages. And I didn't realize she was a real historical character until I'd read the other books. So the details in this are really good. And I'm not saying don't read this, even though this was technically my low, I did not put Austin Land as my bottom even though technically it is because I did not complete it or t fully DNF it because I'm still going to give it a shot. But this was still a really great book. So this is not a bad book and it's not my, it's just my least favorite of the ones I read. And just barely. This one, Death Comes to Pemberley was kind of on the same level for me because it dealt with, again, a Jane Austen retelling. And again, I, I think I have issues with retellings when it comes to other novels. Fairy tales not a problem. Other novel, lo, novels I love, it's a little harder. But I still think this was interesting. Again, it's a mashup between uh, Pride and Prejudice and Frankenstein following Mary Bennett about 13 years after Pride and Prejudice. And, um, and then Victor Frankenstein and the, and the monster come over to England because Victor must uh, find a way to make a bride for him or else he'll kill all his family. Anyway, still not a bad book, just just the bottom at this point. Um, but um, another book probably would be the bottom if I made a decision about DNFing or not. So then real quick, oh my god, I am just a talker today. As my voice is going out, I don't know what that's all about. I did want to show you my pixel. So um, I did read a lot of the same area, which means it's about... Yeah, 100 to 150. So that's why my average kind of came out that way is because I did read a lot um, between 100 and 150. So that's why it came out that way. And if you can see, I have a lot of dots in there because I did a lot of rereading between Jane Austen's books and The Witchwood Crown. So it's uh, that was, you know, it's still pretty good. Still not the best picture. <laughs> but um, and then here's just really quick. Um, this is my reading for the month so you can see how I mean I'm 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 not doing too bad there's only a few days that were this is my lowest day is well it that was <laughs> we know if you know from my my personal stuff that was uh not a good day <laughs> so there's reasons why there wasn't much reading near the end of the month but um this is when I did a, quite a bit of reading um especially during the reading rush and um right before that and um as I said I did I did pretty well overall with all my my stuff so um anyway that's it I've rambled way too long on this I did not mean to do that um anyway so um how was your guys's reading did you guys uh get the numbers you wanted get as many books read off your tbr I of course am accumulating way more than I am taking off <laughs> but I'm trying I'm really trying anyway so um anyway I will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye